Hey guys, Matt Science here, and today, today I am here for a game that I found through Discord. Uh, before I get into this though, I'm going to show you this. So, this is the, uh, the webpage for this game called Mimic. So... I had to read this. I rarely read descriptions, but this person came onto a Discord, like not onto my Discord, but onto onto a server that I'm on, and suggested this game. So, Mimic, what if you are playing a game with something that perfectly mimics your every move? Can it be defeated? And if so, does that mean you have lost as well? So. Here's the thing, there's three multiple endings, there's multiple mind-twisting puzzles, uh, and also immersive psychological horror. I am intrigued. Psychological horror. ARG slash puzzles. My deal. I'll have this page, like, I'll have this webpage open to switch between this and the game to solve puzzles. The creature mimics every movement, meaning that it can't be defeated then. Because if you win, it wins. So, can you win? The creature, or subject number 23, has been served to cause mental and physical distress to its opponents in case of a tie-up and has never been acknowledged to have lost the game until date. We don't have a date, but we'll just say that's today. Or whenever this video comes out, I I am very curious if I can beat Mimic because I love puzzles. I'm good at puzzles. Let's hop into this game. Oh, also I'll put a link to that itch.io page because this is from itch.io, and also links to both of my channels will be down below as well for you guys to go and check out. Okay, here we go. Now, I don't know the controls exactly, but it does... Okay, I don't have a shadow. No power supply. Four digit code. That's Morse code. Okay, we need a three digit code here. All this pink, purple, blue, pink, green, red. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Alphabet. The Samuda Mountain. So, in this first, in the first, like this one, ending called the lucky ending, I'm pretty sure there's a good ending and a bad ending. At the moment, I'm just trying to solve these puzzles. A book called Samura Manthan. All the pages are empty. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of stuff there. Vintage hourglass. Ooh, it's connected to the lamp. Okay. Oh, don't want to turn... Hold on. We're going to have to turn that off, aren't we? Okay, where's the lamp? There we go. Examine the phone. Oh, yes. Okay. So you gotta remember that's there. 
Okay. I'm gonna have to use my phone. Yes, it has a ruby case. Okay. Huh. My phone is... The camera on my phone's not working. I think my phone knows that I'm playing a game. <laughs> Which is terrifying. My, f my phone's abandoned me. My phone has abandoned me in this game. Oh no. Okay. I don't have a way of taking a screenshot of it. Uh, like, without having to go out of the game and look at it and keep going back and forth. Dang it. Okay. Okay, let's read this. Dear participant, find the escape key with the help of the clues provided and you will be freed. However, you will not be playing this game alone. Subject 23, or often referred to as the Mimic, has been chosen as your competitor. Subject 23 is a large, vaguely humanoid-like creature of unknown origin. The subject has been observed to have extreme intelligence, high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. It has been seen that the subject has a unique fondness for playing games with its opponents by mimicking their movements. Uh, movements and actions. It has been observed to cause extreme mental and physical distress to its opponents in case of a tire and has never been acknowledged to have lost any game until date. Okay, C O U N T O oh no, W R D S. Uh, I think there was an O miss because it's supposed to be count words. So, if I count up the words on this paper, they'll get me a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine. 15. I've lost my spot on the page because it, it doesn't let me have a thing. <sighs> okay. I gotta start again now. One, two, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 40 in the first paragraph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 
46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, so 125 words, I'm not 100, but I'm not certain on that, I don't have a program that counts the words. Seven digit code. Uh, how do I? Oh, my gosh, how do I clear it? Okay. So I got 125 words from that. Uh. Ah. Square plus triangle minus circle equals 10. Square plus circle equals 13. Okay. So. If I add 3 to the first equation, that's square plus triangle minus circle plus 3 equals 13. So triangle minus circle plus 3 equals circle. So a triangle plus 3 equals 2 circle. We do have Morse code here. Far out. Okay, I need to open up a separate Google document. Man, it it starts so fast that it's hard for me to even get type out on it. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is so annoyingly difficult because it's hard to j even just get the type thing out. It is Morse code. Excuse me, I'm trying to figure this out. I do also have the piece of wood. Come on. I was using this phone yesterday. For photos, for something else entirely. What happened? Oh my gosh. Dude, settle down. I can't even get anything to work for me. I'm gonna have to do this the hard way, I guess, huh? Here we go. This will work way better. Okay. Uh, PC captures. 
yes, I, I want to open it up in pitches. Okay. So now I'm looking at the images set. Assuming this is A and that's Z, let's figure this out. So on my phone, I'll have my Google Docs open so I can show it, so you, show you guys at the end when I've got it. Give me a moment. Okay, so I just got, uh, you guys can't see it. Uh, I got that which backwards is square seven so that's 49 so from the from that and that i got 49 i still gotta figure out the morse code but it's just so fast so i need to figure out four digit code here which connects to the vintage hourglass. We do have this. So, I'm just typing it onto my phone right now. A lot of this stuff is like, this is what a lot of code breaking is. You analyze things and try and figure out where the clues take you. Now, I I would go to my phone, but it's or like to the computer, but it's just so complex to do. So I'm actually using my phone to do everything, but it'll still work the same. It'll still do the same job that I need it to do. See, unless I I don't know what I could be missing here. Look, I am seeing words if I'm looking at it backwards. Like, potentially numbers of like four and six and stuff like that. Okay, um. Actually, let's just try. Oh no, we need to solve. This for the lock for the key for the padlock. This is where our focus should be. I cannot do that Morse code to save my butt. But let's try and solve this puzzle here. This puzzle that just absolutely stumps me for some reason. But yeah, it's tr circle could still be six. That's the problem here. But it can't be larger than six. Also, if we're keeping it in the f in the single digit range, it can't be c circle can't be smaller than four, because then square would have to be nine. And if triangle plus three is equal to two circle, then if triangle is seven, circle is four, but that does not work because in that situation, for the bottom equation, square would have to be nine, and on the top line, square would have to be seven. So if circle is five, triangle is seven, that means square is 8, and that works for both equations, because 8 plus 5 is 13. So it's 8, 7, 5. Oh, there's a zoom in. I did not know there was a zoom in. Okay. Eight, seven, five.
if it's... It has to be a combination of these three numbers, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to just try every combination, I guess. No, so if it's... Let's try seven at the top, eight here, five there. Unless it's the one twenty five they counted. There has what is the numbers used for then? Eight seven five. And also I got I have the Forty nine from the chalice. So I have this code here that I don't have any clue on. And the Morse code of which I cannot I'm not f able to read far like read fast enough. Also a hard part of it is that if you turn it off, it goes back to the point that it was at. Okay, uh, now that I have that as a soundbar I can take it, I can take that, put it into uh, a Morse code decoder, then I can get a message from that. And I also have this here. Got something to do with this as well. I see you in the distance staring at me. I wonder, oh, hold on. Is there anything on the roof? No. I see you over there. I'll solve these puzzles. At, at least I'm going to try and solve these puzzles so that when I come back around the second time, I can beat you. So I'll probably be doing some solving off camera, then I'll be back for yet another episode. Hello again, Matt Science here, I'm back again for part number two. Uh, this is literally continuing on from early, just earlier when I recorded the first part of this. And I had a few clues I couldn't solve, which was the one under the phone and the uh, Morse code. I now have the Morse code, which is Caesar Box Office, but spelled with a V. I haven't made any other progress other than that. We do have the 49 here. We have the... Uh, we have the 975 here. Like, this was uh, seven squared backwards, which was 49. Just going for a run through of the clues. There has to be something else. Because it said box off, like, Caesar box offers. 
spelled with a V. Seven squared is forty nine. We got this nine seven five. Could it be on this? Okay. Is there a particular alphabet that I need to know? Alright. Samudra. Nothing there. We'll keep that off to the side. Because this here says read words or count words. Okay, one, two, three, four. No, I'm not going to count the words again. I'm pretty sure it was 125. I see you over there. Now, what way are we reading this? Pink, purple, blue, pink, green, red. Or is it red, green, pink, blue, purple, pink? Can't change those. If we're getting a uh, humanoid and like as separate words, uh, that does put it at 126 words. There's some other box that I need as well. Like I've tried it with this and it doesn't work. I tried it with box office, it doesn't work. Actually, I might have an idea. Let's give these colors a go. Well, like the first layers of the colors. So we'll go left to right first, so that's P, P, B, P, G, R. That doesn't get me anything. No words. Uh, G, P. P, 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 P. Try that. Hmm. How does... What do these numbers have to do with it? I've got a 49, I've got one... 
25. I got 875. And the 875 does not work here. But it's the, it's like the only spot with a three digit code. Wait. What if I did this? So, okay, put that in six, put that on five. Nothing. This is just testing every possible combo because we don't really get an indication on how the uh, lock itself works. Well, that's cool attention to detail there. Okay. Right. Well, it's, if it's one, two, five. I do not have a clue on what box office, like Caesar box office could mean. Like that's the only box here, but how am I supposed to do a Caesar cipher? on this box. Is there something that I'm missing? Some sort of lettering. So I'm not ex I don't think this game is expecting me to go to IMDB on anything called Caesar. Although if the if the creator intended that, that'd be hilarious. Maybe there is layers that are not supposed to be in this. But what letters are they? Let's try... I'm going to try removing all the vowels from this. Seems like a wild shot. But it might pay off in the end. It'll work. But yeah, I got office but it's with a V is there like oddly enough there's a V here but there's also an X is there certain letters that I'm supposed to remove 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It is exactly one letter shy of a full 26 as well. Thunder FM. Yeah, that, that's the padlock. Is there some other solution to this puzzle? Let's say circle is six, triangle is seven. No, square has to be seven. There's two solutions here. Because triangle can be nine and it still works. Seven, nine, six. I might be onto something. Seven, nine, six. Yeah, the math still works. Oh my gosh, I just got it. I just got it. It was eight? Huh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I just had to make sure it was on the right number, okay. Seven, two, five, four. That goes here. Seven, two, five, four. No power support. Okay. Look at everything in the blue light. Okay. It's more of a black. Ch churning rope, the wish granting cow. Enraged sage, an egotist god, disguise Asura, the moon, the deadliest poison. How is that? How is that going to help? Hmm. I still have that. It is an exact list of seven. Ah, ha, ha, I got something. Focus camera. Simone Joe Manfan Fa. Okay, and that's related to uh, Dharma history. So there is the churning rope, the wish-grating cow, there is a 
Okay. A sage named Diverza. An egotist god. Again, it's related to Derva. Became she the churning of the ocean of milk was an extensive process. Mount, Mount Mandara was used as the churning rod, and Bazuki Anagaraja, who abides on Shiva's neck, became the churning rope. Hala hala. Well, there's there's a lot to unpack here. But yeah, the rage rage sage is the vaza. The churning rope. The churning rope is Vazuki. The wish granting cow. Each of them do have a name. Uh, yeah, it has to be in Hindi. So each of the things here have a name. Azuki. I, I realize Japanese is not Hindi, so it might be a bit off. I apologize for that. The wish granting cow was Kama. Kama. Hindu? 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 Okay. The Enraged Sage, that was the Vaza. An Egotist God. Again, though, an egotist god. Uh, we'll come back to the egotist god, although I think it still has to do with that one guy. The Vaza. Uh, disguise. Sura. This is not easy at all. I, I get what it's, it's tying back to this one story. But I don't know if I'm supposed to be focusing on that or figuring something else out.
I I don't get it though. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, this. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Okay. We got this. Nine. Oh no. Eleven. Eight. Five. Three and two. That's six. Oh no. It would come to seven numbers. Because. Because purple is two, has is eleven, which is two numbers, so it's eight eleven something eight so it's eight eleven five eight two four eight one one five eight. Two, four. Um, eight, one, one, five, eight, two, four. All right. Yeah, five, five, eight, two, four. Yes. You found the escape key, but so does it. Ending one, simpleton. Okay, we got one ending one of them can be solved backwards so this is dying Did it change? No, that's the same. Yeah, the seven, six, and the nine. Is it a different solution to the puzzle now? I'm just going to try this. Seven, two, five, four. Okay. Don't need to do all that. Again. Oh, it did. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't accept it because I missed the button, apparently. Okay, so there's something else here. There's a, there's a second layer of code, which is in this. 
Is it the number of letters for each of the people in the story? Or each of the things in the story? Because... If that's the case, we have a six, a nine, a seven, so far. So the poison is called Hala Hala, which is eight letters. Okay, an Asura named Vanu. So nine again. So we have. Just for clarification, uh, that's what I have so far. And there's only uh, two more things. Uh, I know the poison, which is. Hala hala. I still need to figure out what the moon is in relation to uh, this story. An egotist god, I don't understand. I'm trying to figure out how the moon ties into this. Chan the moon god? Chandra? Chandra? That's seven. So I have six, nine, seven, blank, nine, seven, eight. Let's, let's just run for each number and see what we get. Six, nine, nice. Seven. We'll start at the nine and make our way backwards from there. No, uh, six, nine, seven, Has to be close. Six, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, four, nine, seven, six, nine, seven, three. If none of these numbers work, I can try the bottom one at least. Six, nine, seven, two, nine, seven, eight. Six, nine, seven, one, nine, seven, eight. Six, nine, zero. Nine, seven, eight. Okay, none of that worked. Looks like I gotta try it on the bottom one. Six. No. 
nine, seven, nine, nine, seven, Six, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, six, seven, oh, six, nine, seven, seven, nine, seven, eight, six, nine. Seven six nine seven eight six nine seven five nine seven eight six nine uh, six nine seven Four nine seven eight six nine. I don't think I did five actually. Six seven three nine seven eight six nine seven two nine seven. Six nine six nine seven one nine seven nine seven eight six nine seven zero nine seven eight. None of those numbers worked, huh? Why are you giving me these lines? Well, so I'm pretty sure I've seen these lines somewhere else, some picture. Wait, I didn't check the back. Uh, nothing there. There is this. There is way too much here. You, buddy, you are difficult to beat. I don't have anything. And at this rate, this is going to be its own separate video from the first part. But this book, this book is important somehow. I've solved the code to see what's on the back side. And I've looked into the story. I've gained, I've gathered together most of the, most of the stuff. But I can't figure out what they are supposed to mean as clues and I still haven't used the uh, Caesar box office thing here for anything else but what would I use it on? Like, 
the names that I get here? That doesn't make sense. What does make sense uh, is I'm going to have to end the episode here. Hey guys, Matt Science here, and again I am back for, like, literally same day again, because I just solved another part of this puzzle. Uh, I've got to go over to my Google Doc, i got to pull up my Google Doc on my phone right now. Okay, so I got, I figured out what the Morse code was actually saying. Cypher box of five. Uh, it wasn't saying office, but weirdly, it was box of five. So get six, two, five, one, three, four, one. I guess I'm going to be editing all this together into one video at this point. So, six, two, five, one, three, four, one. That's our second one solved. You finally go and try to shoot it. You get shot. Ending two. Face off. That means the last puzzle I have to solve is in is on the book that's the last puzzle i have to solve oh my goodness that i don't have any clues on that i'm gonna end this little section here and so you guys can go and enjoy like so i can get this out although there is one last section and i need to figure it out Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next part when it, or I won't see you in the next part. Well, I'll see you in the next part of the video when it's done. Hey guys, Mad Science here. Today, uh, again, this might be the fourth intro you'll see in the one video, but I, I have the file code after a bit of trouble. And... Apparently, I was able to break the game. But I'll go through this process of all the other bits first. So I can show you exactly what it was I got it from. So on this book... You gotta examine the back and you get this list and each of them relate to a character of which once you figure out all the characters you have to count up. Now I will be show like the answer will appear on the screen for you guys but I'll leave the puzzle element of it for you guys to solve even though I did cover most of it in previous parts of this lot of recordings. Six, nine, seven, five, nine, seven, eight. Here we go. Time for the final landing, buddy. I got... You found a revolver with a single bullet in it. You know, it would shoot back if you do. You start to try your luck by randomly spinning the revolver cylinder and shooting at yourself. You survive, it does not. Oh, that. Okay, that might change the. Uh, 
what my opinion is of the uh, second ending. I'm going to stop the recording on my screen here. Okay. I understand what it means by lucky now. You literally play Russian roulette to survive. It might... It definitely changes my opinion of the uh, second ending. Although, like, what I was really going to say about the second ending is, like, it's, like, yes, there is that f element of fear of, like, you grab the gun out of fear and you just shoot. But, it would be better if you it, uh, like, it, before I saw that ending, I would have been like, the person checks the gun and throws the gun away, seeing there's no ammo in it. And not knowing if it has ammo, it, you don't shoot. You throw it away. And it also gives you a chance of actually figuring out the third ending... Also, like, based on what happens of each ending, like, first ending is you, you and it escape, meaning you lose. Second ending, you find a shotgun, and you, like, you instinctively go to shoot. But it didn't have a, it didn't have a bullet in it. The third ending seems to indicate that you got the second ending, and it's like you're stuck in a loop. You're stuck in a time loop of sorts, and like it trapped you in this time loop, and by pure luck, you are able to escape. And, like, by escaping with the escape key, that resets the loop. By grabbing the gun and you getting shot, that resets the loop. The third ending, like, it is li literally called Lucky because, depend, like, for all you know, it could get hit and you could have got hit, meaning you both die... Or you, it your bullet doesn't fire, but it does. It does, and you die, resetting the loop. Or no one dies, and like, what do you do at that point? I guess that that that's sort of why it's called the lucky ending. So, I personally think the third ending is the true escape ending, and now you can get the first key and actually escape the escape room, because it can't copy you at that point. Anyway, that, that last ending really did change every opinion I had of, of it. Like that's the tr the true psychological horror is in the fact that it that it could it works as a time loop situation. Anyways, uh, that was a very fun game. Link link to the game will be in the description along with both of my channels. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. A ding a ding. A mad scientist. Mad scientist out.